Pampaga, MPC, welcome sa ating weekly economic briefing. And to introduce our guest, let us have uh, Director Nina Asuncion from the Department of Finance. Good morning, Attorney. Magandang umaga sa lahat sa, at welcome po sa ating weekly economic press briefing co-hosted by the Economic Development Cluster and the PCOO. Nararamdaman po natin lahat, nating lahat, ang epekto at matinding traffic dito sa Metro Manila. Sa katunayan po, ayon sa Japan International Cooperation Agency or JICA, tinatayang 3.5 billion pesos ang nasasayang araw-araw dahil sa traffic and congestion dito pa lang sa Metro Manila. Ito po ang dahilan kung bakit isa sa mga prioridad ng Administrasyong Duterte ang pagpapalago ng infrastruktura. Sa ilalim ng 0 to 10 point socio-economic agenda, aabot ng 5% ng gross domestic product o GDP ang infrastructure spending sa ilalim ng Build, Build, Build program. Nalampasan na natin ang target na ito noong 2018 at inaasahang aabot sa 7% ang GDP of GDP ang infrastructure spending sa 2022. Makakatulong din dito ang kita mula sa Tax Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion o TRAIN Law dahil malaking bahagi ng nalilikom na pondo ay nakalaan para sa infrastructure spending. Papaigtingin din po natin ang fiscal responsibility sa lahat ng ating sources of financing. Katunayan, mula sa 74%, Noong uh, 2004, napababa po natin ang debt-to-GDP ratio to 41.9% noong 2018. Ang estimate natin for 2019 ay bababa pa ito hanggang 41.4%. Ang Build, Build, Build program ang siyang magiging dahilan para mabawasan ang congestion sa urban centers, mapibilis ang daloy ng serbisyo at produkto, mapalago ang turismo, at masiguro ang mas komportabling biyahe para sa mga commuters. Higit pa sa pag-unlad ng ekonomiya, inaasahan na makakapagbigay ang mga proyektong sa ilalim ng Build, Build, Build program ng maraming benepisyo at ginhawa na ramdam ng bawat Pilipino. Ngayong umaga, kasama ni Assistant Secretary Tony Lambino of DOF ay si Anna May Lamintilio mula sa Department of Public Works and Highways, ang chairperson ng Interagency Committee ng Build, Build, Build. Ibabahagi ni Anna May ang ilang mahahalagang update ng mga proyekto sa tinatawag nating Golden Age of Infrastructure. Good morning. Magandang magandang uh, hapon po. Uh, let's start the presentation. Maraming salamat po. The... Um, Uh, the, the, the Basic Educational Facilities Fund Program um, aims to address yung ating uh, deficiency or uh, as far as the phys physical requirements uh, is concerned. As of now, we have uh, constructed a total of 71,803 uh, classrooms uh, since June 2016, benefiting about uh, 3.2 million uh, learners, while uh, 67,608 classrooms are still uh, being constructed. Um, dahil po dito sa programa nito, we expect to ease yung uh, uh, student to classroom ratio from 1 is to 35 to 1 is to 28 uh, uh, after the Duterte administration uh, program is com completed. Yung uh, sa evacuation uh, center development program naman po, we have currently accomplished 82 evacuation centers in 52 provinces and uh, 55 evacuation centers are still being constructed. Uh, this is one of the examples. This is the Pili Evacuation Center in uh, Camarines Sur. So standardized na po ngayon yung ating design as far as evacuation center are uh, concerned para po hindi na dun sa gymnasiums natin uh, ilalaga for example pagka merong mga calamities. Um, next. We also have um, centers uh, for residential center for residential care facility project. So a total of 1.4 billion was already allotted for 210 projects in 71 dilapidated and congested uh, facilities in four new centers. So uh, this is one of the example ng ating regional rehabilitation center 
uh, para sa mga kabataan in Surigao del Sur. Um, next. Next. This is... Uh, um, and then the, the flood management program. So since June 2016, uh, up until today, we've already accomplished 4,536 of flood mitigation uh, structures uh, nationwide. Um, next. Uh, this, uh, the construction of the pumping stations at Barangay Suawang Polo in Koloong were completed as of April 2016. Um, the main objective of the project is to mitigate the flood damages in the province of Valenzuela. Next. We are also doing uh, the Metro Manila Flood Management Project, which aims to um, rehabilitate 36 of the existing pumping stations and then construct 20 new more uh, pumping stations. Similar po dito sa ano. Uh, this includes yung Balut Pumping Station, uh, Labasan and Tripa de Galion uh, Pumping Station. Um, and these are one of our projects that is already... Uh, uh, that, that we expect to complete uh, by September 2019. This is the Flood Risk Management River Project for uh, Cagayan, which is now at 94%. A total of 120 hectares will be protected uh, as soon as this project is completed. Uh, the Flood Risk Management Project for Tagoloa naman po uh, involves the construction of a 2,500-meter uh, flood protection dike 1,527 meter drainage improvement and 1,162 uh, drainage canal. And this was already completed uh, last June 18, uh, 2019. Um, apart from our flood uh, control program, we also have the tourism road infrastructure program. Um, since June 2016, we have already completed a total of 961.65 kilometers of tourism uh, roads. Um, next. Uh, this, are, this is one of the examples. This one can be found in uh, Bohol. Next. Uh, this one is in Surigao del Norte. Next. Uh, the next one is the Boracay Circumferential Road. And then we have the uh, roads leveraging linkages uh, for uh, industry and trade program. Um, in November 2016, we developed a convergence program with the Department of Trade and Industry to enhance uh, industry developing infrastructure in priority economic and manufacturing zones. Um, as of date, we have already completed a total of uh, 9,610 kilometer of roads. Um, a total of 9,000 has already been identified also. And uh, yung natapos po natin as far as trade is concerned is about um, 865. Next. Um, an example po uh, of this project is ito pong uh, Poro Point Freeport Zone. Next, uh, Baguio Bontok Road uh, Junction. Next, uh, as far as Agri Infrastructure Support Program is concerned, we have already completed 1,096 kilometers of uh, farm to market roads since June 2016. We have allocated a total of 21.39 billion pesos. Uh, ang total po natin na target is about 2,140 kilometers of farm-to-market roads. Um, we are also expanding our high-standard highway network. We will build and lay the ground for 1,049 kilometers of new high-standard highway network. Ito po yung ating Philippine High-Standard Highway Network Program. Um, yung isa po dito, ito po yung Luzon Spine Expressway Network. Yung ating pong recently opened the Skyway Stage 3 is part of this uh, uh, key infrastructure. Uh, it also includes NLEX Harbor Link and it also includes C5 South Link, which were all um, recently uh, opened uh, po. We expect uh, more uh, access points and more ramps to be open uh, within the year.
So, ito po yung ating Philippine High Standard Highway Network uh, plan. It's a total of 1,049 kilometers. Um, it includes yung Luzon Spine Expressway Network, yung Cebu High Standard Highway Expressway Network, and uh, the Davao uh, High Standard Highway Network. Next. Ito po yung Luzon Spine Expressway. So from 300, uh, from, from all, uh, 382 kilometers, we expect it to increase to 1,271. We, we want to connect the northernmost part of Luzon to the southernmost part of Luzon, uh, thereby decreasing uh, the travel time between uh, the farthest point in Luzon to the southernmost part um, by half. Uh, when this is completed, we are confident that we will be able to achieve yung Kubao to Makati in five minutes. Um, the Tarlac Pangasinan La Union Expressway uh, is almost complete. We are in the last uh, phase of, uh, of, the, uh, of the expressway. This is the Central Luzon Link Expressway Phase 1, which, is, which connects Tarlac and Cabanatuan. Next. This is the Arterial Plaridel Bypass Road Project, which is a uh, major infrastructure in Bulacan. Next. This is NLEX Harbor Link Segment 10, which um, ultimately is na connect na po natin yung uh, Valenzuela to Caloocan portion, and we want to connect this to port area, and we expect it to be completed. Uh, within the year. The Metro Manila Skyway Stage 3, nabuksan na po namin hanggang Plaza Dilao. Uh, there will be uh, eight access points for Skyway Stage 3, and the project will be implemented in uh, five different segments. We expect the project to be substantially completed by the end of this year and full completion by next year. Next. This is the C5 South Link uh, Expressway. We have already completed phase one of the project. <coughs> Next. This is Cavite Laguna Expressway project. It's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a major uh, project connecting uh, Cavitex in, Cav in Cavite, Cavite all the way to Laguna. Next. And um, the development in uh, the Philippines is not just happening in Luzon, not just happening in Visayas, but it's happening nationwide and also in Mindanao. Um, through the Mindanao Road Development Network Program, we expect a total of 2,847 kilometers of road network completed. Po. Next. Um, in totality, we have already completed 9,845.46 kilometer of roads. Um, 1,121 kilometers are for preventive maintenance. 1,361 are for rehabilitation, reconstruction, and upgrading. 2,092 kilometers are for road widening. 418 kilometers for bypasses and diversion roads. 589.40 uh, kilometers for missing links. 1,807 for road upgrading. Um, 220 kilometers uh, to roads leading to airports and seaports, 961 kilometers to roads uh, to declared tourism destination, um, 175 kilometers to economic zones, and 1,096 kilometers uh, to other local roads. Next. Uh, this is one of our uh, examples of our major roads that was already completed. This is the Laguna Lake Highway. It's the first uh, toll-free expressway with bicycle lanes, um, segregated Pusha. We are not only doing pedestrian infrastructure in Manila, we are also doing it in major infrastructure nationwide. Um, in fact, uh, yung Pasig Marikina flood control project natin will also have bicycle lanes. We have the Bacolod Economic Highway, which is in Visayas. Uh, we've already completed Cagayan de Oro Coastal Road. And uh, kung mapapansin nyo po, the new road in Boracay also have pedestrian infrastructure. Um, another example po is the Candon <laughs> City uh, Bypass Road. Uh, next, the Pulilan uh, Baliwag Diversion Road. Next, the N. Bacalso underpass in Cebu City. Next, 
the slaughterhouse bypass road next. Gusto lang po namin ipakita na uh, before drawing pa lang po to, but now we are we are little by little accomplishing um, most of the roads road projects that were promised during the uh, first uh, half of the administration. Uh, this is the Metro Manila Logistics Improvement Project. We aim to uh, construct 12 additional bridges across the Pasig Marikina River and Mangahan <coughs> Floodway. Next. Ito po, ongoing na po yung Binondo Intramuros Bridge in Manila. Next. Uh, we also have the Estrella Pantalyon Bridge in Makati and Mandaluyong. Next. Um, ito po yung isa sa pinaka, uh, I guess, ambitious na project of this administration, uh, which is the inter-island linkage and the mega bridge program. We are already in the advanced uh, stages of uh, most or a number of this uh, project. Uh, the groundbreaking po nung 3.77 uh, Pangil Bay Bridge project was already completed uh, last November 2018. And the feasibility uh, study for the Panay Gimoros Negros will be, uh, is expected to be completed uh, this year. Yung atin pong bridge accomplishment uh, uh, program, we have already accomplished 2,709 bridges since June 2016. Um, next. 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 Um, one of the examples is yung Anduyan Bridge in Tubao, uh, La Union. Next. The Lawag City Bypass Bridge. Next. The Pigalo Bridge in Isabela. So for example po, these projects, uh, Yung ito pong Pigalo Bridge, it was devastated uh, before by a typhoon, completely destroyed. So um, students and farmers had to um, travel by boat. Pagka umuulan po, the detour is about 80 uh, kilometers. So um, sabi nga po namin, the, the construction of these infrastructure projects is also um, connected uh, to agriculture, to eco to, uh, to the economic thing, talagang hand in hand siya. Because of this, mas mura na ngayon yung uh, prices uh, of agriculture in that particular area because the transportation cost is now uh, less. Pag umulan po kasi doon, yung detour po ng mga magsasaka is about 80 kilometers when in fact the bridge is less than one kilometer. So ano yung travel time with them? So, for example, kung dati po isang buong araw sila bago madala yung uh, agricultural products nila, ngayon po, 15 minutes na lang po to uh, go to the main uh, area and to Manila. Next. Next. Um, uh, this ends my presentation po. Thank you. We also have uh, uh, Finance Assistant Secretary Tori Lambino, sir. Thank you, Anna May. Uh, salamat po. At uh, ang uh, gusto rin po natin ipahiwatig ay yung ating pagfa-finance dito sa ating Build, Build, Build program ay uh, talagang, in, talagang kwan po, um, executed po ito lahat with financial responsibility. Ibig sabihin ay hinahanap po talaga natin ang mga pinakasulit na sources of financing for all of these projects. So while a uh, bulk of it, uh, of course, is covered by our GAA, yung ating budget, at uh, alam naman po natin from previous presentations that the overall uh, the overall budget for the Build, Build, Build program is around uh, 8 uh, trillion no? pesos over uh, over the uh, the period of the Duterte administration. Um, may mix po yan na 66% GAA, 18% uh, public-private partnership, at saka 15% from overseas development assistance. At uh, yung hinahanap po talaga natin ay yung mga pinakasulit na uh, financing options. Kasama po yung uh, government uh, executed, kasama po yung pagpa-partner sa mga uh, private actors at kasama po yung mga utang natin uh, at ang ating uh, debt to GDP ratio na banggit po kanina ni Director Nina ay uh, yung laki po ng ating utang kumpara sa laki ng ating ekonomiya no uh, pababa po yung ating ratio na yan ibig sabihin ay uh, talagang responsable ang ating uh, pamamahala 
ng, uh, ng financing ng ating infrastructure program. So from uh, higher than 70% in 2004, yung ating debt to GDP ay bumaba na po sa 41.9 as of 2018 at gusto pa po natin na uh, uh, ipaalam na yung estimate natin for 2019 is 41.4%. So even lower than last year. Um, so a lot of people will say the nominal number is getting bigger. Eh, tama po yun kasi uh, lumalaki rin po yung economy at the same time. So in the same way that a household can borrow more to finance uh, higher quality education for their children or better health care um, or uh, improvements in their house, ganun din po yung Pilipinas. As our economy grows and our earning capacity increases, we are also able to support and invest more in our infrastructure and in our people. And again, the longer term goal for all of this ay talagang ipababa po ang ating poverty rate from 21.6% uh, uh, when it was last uh, measured uh, in 2015 to 14% by 2022. That is 1 million Filipinos lifting themselves from poverty every year no, under this administration. Salamat po. Thank you, Asik. Uh, Tony Lambino and uh, Chairperson, uh, Ms. Aramay Lamentilio. We also would like to uh, acknowledge the presence of uh, PCO Under Secretary Lorraine Badoy. Good morning, ma'am. MPC, question. Uh, ladies first, uh, Bombo. Pia. Okay, Asik, Tony. Sir, how much is allocated in the proposed 2020 budget for the Bill, Bill, Bill program? Ang uh, announcement po ng DBM ay uh, i-release po nila ang National Expenditure Program uh, for submission to Congress within uh, the deadline stated in the Constitution. I believe the deadline is August 21. Um, uh, Doon po natin makikita yung mga detalye. But uh, in broad strokes, uh, we breached the threshold that we've been trying to breach for decades of investing 5% of GDP in infrastructure in 2018. We intend to maintain that level and increase that to 7% of GDP uh, by 2022. Pero yung mga detalye po ng budget, uh, manggagaling po sa DBM. Wait up here. Raymond? Just sir, kay Ma'am Misanami, related lang sa recent C tragedy, yung Panay, Gimaras, and Negros Inter-Island Bridge, sabi mo kanina matapos this year? Uh, the feasibility okay. study. Uh, may requirement po kasi for, for an inter-island bridge, for example, uh, may required na pre-feasibility study, feasibility study, and detailed uh, engineering design. Um, because of the magnitude of the of this project, uh, our longest bridge is about two kilometers long, which is uh, times 10 of what we want to achieve for Panay Gimaras Negro. So we're really being, uh, we're really be very careful as to yung construction and yung design for this particular project. Kasi parang matagal na yata in the pipeline or pinaplano to kasi dahil yung nasa danger of the, although it's only a 30 minute uh, boat ride from Iloilo to uh, Jordan or Jordan in Gimaras. Kasi parang delikado yung and then yung waves dun. Eh. So hindi ba pwede para maging part of the priority project yung uh, even yung Iloilo to Gimaras uh, Bridge? Uh, priority po talaga yung uh, Panay Gimaras uh, Negros Bridge. Thank you so much. Thank you po. Pia, balik tayo kay Pia. Okay, Miss Anna. Ma'am, you mentioned the uh, five-minute Cubao to Makati travel. Could you give us more updates dun sa project na yun? This is, uh, this is not just one infrastructure. This is a combination of uh, infrastructure for Metro Manila. Uh, hindi lang po Cubao to Makati, we expect the south and the north to be connected within a 20 to 30 minute drive. Um, we've been working on it since day one. Um, at sinabi ko nga po, the Luzon Spine Expressway uh, will add 18 more expressway throughout Luzon. But this does not involve pa po yung sa DOTR na train projects, um, which I think they will highlight during their uh, economic briefing in the, in the coming weeks. But for example po, um, um, right now po, yung uh, ating Skyway Stage 3, we will have eight access points. Uh, Buendia, Yung Quirino po in Malate, Plaza de Lao in Paco, Manila, Nagtahan or Aurora, E. Rodriguez, Quezon Avenue, Sergeant Rivera, and, uh, and Lex. Um, yung construction po natin ngayon is at advanced stages. Now, we expect 95% um, of the project to be completed um, within the year and for the entire alignment to be completed by next year. 
Um, we will also be creating a loop with, uh, within Metro Manila. Um, so, ito pong um, NLEX Harbor Link po natin is already completed mula po Valenzuela to Caloocan. And then we will extend it to port area. The, our, uh, meron po tayong isa pa pong project which we call NLEX SLEX Connector, mm -hmm. which will connect to the Caloocan interchange of NLEX Harbor Link and will eventually connect to Skyway Stage 3. Um, what we have right now is a master plan that will effectively decongest um, EDSA and C5 by about 300,000 uh, vehicles in total. Um, maliban pa po ito sa mga bridges that we are constructing, uh, for example, yung BGC Ortigas Link Bridge po, which will connect BGC and Ortigas within a 15 to 20 minute drive. Um, um, <laughs> Again, uh, com combining all these factors, we are confident that uh, this is achievable. Achievable in how long? Because the, the president earlier promised in June to achieve young five-minute travel in six months. So would that be possible? Uh, categorically, I will uh, say um, yes, this is possible. Um, uh, I think yung uh, mas malaking announcement and to the specific, let us wait for our cabinet secretaries to make kung ano yung magiging traffic management plan. Thank you. Thank you, Pia. NPC? Rose Goss. Mike, please. Okay, ma'am, malamin till you po. Um, last year po, President Duterte warned Secretary Villar of delayed and failed projects. But yesterday, President Duterte said Secretary Villar is mahusay. Um, ano po yung, meron na po bang mga contractors na kinol out ang DPWH dahil po sa mga delayed and failed uh, projects? Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, in fact, we have uh, blacklisted at least 18 contractors in DPWH. Um, these are all of public record. It is accessible in our website and publicly disclosed. Um, one of the reforms of Secretary Villar uh, at the onset of the administration was to institutionalize um, a centralized database monitoring. Ang ginagawa po nito is it automates uh, yung, um, yung warning system. So for instance, you incur a delay of 5% the computer automatically generates a letter for the contractor and asks him for a catch-up plan. So, ibig sabihin po, uh, required sila mag-submit ng plano para maabot nila yung uh, time schedule for this particular project. Pag hindi pa po nila naabot ito, uh, there, will be another depart uh, there will be another warning for 10% and then another warning for 15%. Um, and ultimately, uh, kung ito po ay due to the fault of the contractor, uh, then um, they are penalized. So, uh, ngayon po, yung uh, monitoring po natin is also done via drone. Uh, we are also using geotagging technology. Ibig sabihin po, um, even before bidding out the project, nakaspecify na yung exact geographic coordinates of a particular project. And before the contractor is paid, they would have to submit a geotag photo, which is counter-checked by our implementing personnel. So dalawang geotag photos po yung, yung sinasubmit. And once uh, magkaroon or merong discrepancy, the, the system is automatically alerted that the photo submitted is different from the geographic coordinate of the project. Um, this was a mode to completely eliminate uh, ghost projects by 100%. Um, aside po from blacklisting and penalizing, meron po bang sinampahan ng reklamo ang DPWH sa mga nasabing contractors? Uh, uh, again po, marami na pong nabigyan ng uh, warning. Penalty na po yung blacklisting. They are not allowed to do uh, a project for a period of one year. Yung iba po, mas mahaba depending on the violation. Um, marami pa pong reform sa ginawa si Secretary Villar as far as right of way for example, is concerned because one of the major causes of delay for right-of-way is yung uh, right-of-way acquisition. Um, so for instance, ngayon po, delegated na yung uh, right-of-way doon sa ating implementing offices because dati, walang legal divisions yung regional offices 
uh, ng DPWH. And uh, during this administration, we institutionalized legal divisions in our regional offices to efficiently uh, facilitate our right-of-way processes. So kung dati po uh, walang uh, legal division sa regional office, ngayon we have legal divisions in all 16 uh, regional offices uh, ng DPWH. Um, we have also um, uh, done yung mga um, uh, focus groups uh, to specifically handle big ticket projects. So for example, we have a group uh, specific for Skyway Stage 3. We have a group specific for NLEX Harbor Link. We have a group specific for Tarlac, Pangasinan, La Union Expressway. We have a uh, delegated uh, right of way to UPMO director for UPMO projects. We have delegated um, right of way functions to the uh, PPP director, for instance. Dagdag ko lang po sana dun sa valuation na nabanggit ni Anime. Um, we have a bill, package three, of the Comprehensive Tax Reform Program on valuation reform. What does this mean? This means uh, we will harmonize our valuation system. Kasi po, yung sa right of way, maraming mga delays dyan sa infrastructure projects, hindi po napapaginabangan ng taong bayan ng minsan dalawang dekada. Dahil naiipit, naiipit po sa korte yung right of way uh, challenges and acquisition process. Kaya po, yung valuation reform natin, gagawing based on international standards, uh, yung merong tayong Philippine valuation system na dapat i-adapt ng lahat ng LGUs, and in coordination with the national government through the DOF, ay yun po yung ia-adapt na valuation. At uh, yan po ay uh, makakatulong sa right-of-way issues dahil imbis na 20 yung sources ng uh, valuation na iba-ibang ahensya ang gumagawa at iba-iba po yung pinaglalaban na presyo para sa, uh, let's say, uh, property that is needed for a project. Iisa na lang po ang valuation standard natin. At dahil po doon, mapapabilis yung mga right-of-way acquisitions natin. Ma-avoid po natin yung matatagal na nabibinbin yung mga right-of-way cases sa ating mga korte. So again, that's package three of the Comprehensive Tax Reform Program. Nabanggit po yan ni Pangulong Duterte sa SONA as one of the things that he's calling on Congress to pass. Uh, hopefully within this year, not before the end of uh, the calendar year. Uh, Rose, may I follow up? Ka Last na lang po. Ano po, ano, ano po mga major infrastructure projects yung delayed na po sa target completion? Right now po, oh, all uh, major infrastructure is on track. Um, nakatutok po talaga si Secretary Villar. In fact, we do weekly uh, monitoring and meetings with the uh, key groups uh, for our big ticket uh, infrastructure project. So we, we expect um, all these projects to come through on within their specified timeline. Thank you, Rose. Uh, Joseph, and uh, to be followed by Anna. Um, can you mention some of the projects or all of the projects that will contribute to reducing volume of uh, ve vehicles in EDSA? Uh. I will uh, mention substantial, mahirap po yata yung lahat. Uh, but uh, for example, um, we will be completing um, a portion na umpisa na nga po natin yung C5 South Link, which is already completed, yung kanyang phase one. Um, yung second phase po natin of Skyway Stage 3, we've already opened uh, Bundia, Quirino, hanggang Plaza de Laupo. We expect uh, a number of openings within the year. Um, let us wait for Secretary Villar to make the formal announcement as to the specified dates. Um, yung NLEX Harbor Link po, we will also be completing it within the year. We expect, um, we expect yung, uh, yung Laguna Lake Expressway, for example, um, completed na rin po siya. We have Mindanao Avenue extension, we have Quezon Avenue, uh, natapos na rin po natin yung Quezon Avenue widening. Um, Ginagawa po natin ngayon yung uh, BGC Ortigas Center Link Bridge. We have Pantalyon Estrella Bridge. We have Lawton Avenue Road. Uh, uh, sure, sir. Mindanao, Mindanao Avenue Extension Project. We have Quezon Avenue uh, Project. We have uh, Pantalyon Estrella uh, Bridge Project. We have Binondo Intramuros Bridge Project. 
We have BGC Ortiga Center Link Bridge Project. We, we have BGC Ortiga Center Link Bridge Project. We have um, NLEX Harbor Link Project. We have NLEX Harbor Spur Link Project. We have Caloocan Interchange. We have Skyway Stage 3. We have Cavite Laguna Expressway. Hmm. Yun po yung ating mga major uh, expressway na we feel will effectively decongest uh, Metro Manila. Yung Skyway Stage 3 pa lang po, it is expected to take out about 100,000 vehicles in EDSA and C5. We expect 70% of the trucks um, to go to NLEX Harbor Link once the infrastructure is completed. Uh, C5 South Link will take about 30 to 50,000 vehicles daily. Meron po tayong NLEX Harbor Link, NLEX Harbor Spur Link, NLEX SLEX uh, Connector, and meron pa po tayo yung mga minor projects which we think will also have a big impact as far as uh, traffic decongestion uh, is concerned. So, okay. um, yes sir. So, I'll, I'll focus on the Skyway Stage 3. This is ongoing, no? Yes sir. And it's going to be completed when? Um, it will be 95% completed within the year okay. and uh, full completion with all the access points by next year. 2020. The uh, North and Lex Harbor Link, you said? Yes, sir. For the trucks, no? 70% at least will go there now. Yes. Um, status of the project? The first phase of NLEX Harbor Link connecting Caloocan to Valenzuela has been fully accessible to the public. Um, we will be able to complete the next phase uh, by this year. Um, C5 South Link, uh, you said it's going to take up 30 to 50,000 vehicles. We already opened it during the... This is open already. Yes, sir. Um, okay. We are constructing now. Uh, we are going to start with the phase two of the project. Phase two that is that runs from what? Yes. What point two? Um, again, sir, uh, we will have a formal groundbreaking. I do not want to preempt <laughs> the formal announcement of uh, this uh, project. Siguro po uh, hintayin natin si uh, Secretary Villar to make a formal announcement of <coughs> all the major openings. Uh, for the rest of the year, because I promise you, marami po tayo magiging openings. Okay. You mentioned that your the projects will lessen or decrease the volume of on of vehicles on EDSA by three hundred thousand. Yes, sir. Okay, but MMDA said that the volume is daily volume is four hundred thousand. You're going to take out seventy five percent. Um. The the, the 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 idea is to decongest it uh, effectively. Ibig sabihin po pinepreempt na namin yung changes uh, in terms of traffic in the next few years. We ang, ang, the goal of uh, the Luzon Spine Expressway is to really plan for the future. Ibig po sabihin we are not just effectively uh, decongesting uh, traffic today. We want to effectively create a transportation uh, network in Metro Manila that will aid us uh, in the future. Um, in fact, uh, ito pong road networks namin is hand in hand uh, and weekly po kaming nag-uusap ng uh, Department of Transportation, Department of Finance, Department of Management uh, and NEDA, pati BCDA po, para makita na in sync po sila. So the road should be seen with a railway uh, development in the, in the metro, in metro Manila area. So, so you're willing to commit that at least 75% of the vehicles on EDSA now will be out uh, of EDSA because of all these projects? EDSA and C5 po. Eh, total. The total volume for uh, the main thoroughfare po. Yung mga, uh, yung mga ating main thoroughfare, for example, uh, EDSA, C5, uh, Aurora, for example. Um, but we would expect that this would effectively uh, decongest the uh, area. So 300,000 out of um, C5 and EDSA, 300,000 uh, number of vehicles, you're going to disperse it somewhere else, right? Yes, sir. To the other yeah. road networks. By when? Uh, by 2022. Uh, 
Oo, hindi pa naman po, sir, ngayon. Uh, but, we, you, but please expect a lot of major openings by this year. Uh, pero po yung trabaho namin, we, we will fully complete, hopefully, Luzon Spine by 2022. Okay, thanks. Hannah, after Hannah, kay uh, Ina. Sorry, ma'am. Balikan ko yung contractors, ma'am, ha? Ano po yung cause? Bakit po na-blacklist sila? At kung kasama po ba yung issue ng substandard na mga gamit or faking documents po na kaya po na eligible po sila to complete um, projects? or Various various reasons. Uh, but uh, mostly because of delay. Delay lang po. Delay. Slippages, delay. That is due to the fault of the contractor. Because kung fortuitous events siya, like say, uh, may typhoon, etc., we have a process uh, for that. Yung time extension po ngayon, kung dati ang nag approve uh, district engineer, ngayon under secretary level na po yung mag approve for a time extension due to a fortuitous event, for example. So just so uh, we have enough check checks and balances in the system. Thank you. Ina? Hi, Anna May. Um, yung strategy to meet the five-minute uh, travel time between Cubao and Makati, the strategy is what? To decongest EDSA. Is that right? Um, I mean, how will that actually happen? Uh, there is no singular strategy okay. uh, for this um, for this uh, program. Pero ayoko kasing ma-preempt yung formal announcement for this uh, project. I hope... Um, uh, we can wait for the formal announcement for how this will be done. Uh, but I have already mentioned uh, major expressways in Metro Manila, and I can forward to the to PCOO, can I use it, Lorraine, yung uh, list of projects in Metro Manila in detail para makita nyo yung overview. Once, kumbaga, that's the master plan you were talking about yes. earlier. Okay. So once that's executed, that's the time when we will experience supposedly yung five yeah. minute yes. travel time. So that's gonna happen by December? I know, but uh, yung, because yun yung six month period na sinabi ni Presidente. Yes, the Makati to uh, Quezon City. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. But uh, yung, uh, for the effective decongestion of the entire of Metro Manila, yeah. Then 2022. Okay, so you mean by December, if mangyayari kasi yung EDSA to Cubao, it's experts are saying that that, that that 10 kilometer stretch will require a 120 po ba na kilometers per hour na takbo? I know, uh, because this this is computed based on the length of EDSA. Yeah. Okay. The, the current uh, network that we are proposing is different from the network of EDSA. Uh, so it's so, not going to pass through EDSA it kung mangyari yung five minutes? It is not going to pass through EDSA. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thank you, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Ina. MPC? RJ? Uh, my place. Ma'am, is that also the position of Secretary Villar that this can happen after six months or within six months? Uh, he, he also stated this in the uh, pre -sona. All right. So may we know your basis? If you can't say Mr. Villiers. Um, yung sa Skyway Stage 3 pa lang po, it will uh, affect, very effective na po siya because when Dia now to Quirino, uh, if you've tried it at partial opening pa lang po siya, which is, which is one lane pa lang po, uh, nung, nung tinry po namin, it's five minutes. All right, thank you. Within the uh, specified uh, speed limit. So we expect na with the full opening of the entire alignment, ngayon po kasi what? one lane pa lang po. Eh. All right, thank you. Thank you, RJ. MPC, question. Uh, Ariane. Ma'am, uh, clarify ko lang, kasi you said most of these projects will be done by 2022, yung madidikon just fully 300,000. And then you said na pwede by December uh, possible yung five minute from Makati, Makati to Cubao, right? Makati to so Cubao lang how achievable ko. is, madali kasi sabihing possible, how achievable is it na by December mangyayari yun? Siguro, ano, wait and see muna tayo. I guess, I'll... Uh, uh, please wait for the formal announcement for this uh, particular uh, alignment. Um, pero yung, yung five minutes po na yon, there will be a new road network for that. Uh, and the, you can give us an assurance three. that that new road network will be open by December? You have six months? 
uh, actually less than six months, it's August na eh. Yes. Tanda, yung, yung ano po, yung, yung Plaza Dilaw po, it's already Paco, Manila. Yung na, nagtahan to Aurora, sa Manila na rin yes, po, po yan. Pero yung um, I'm asking is, can you give us a guarantee na we can achieve yung five minutes by December and that there will be a new road network for that if you can't reveal the name yet or kung saan, ano yung bagong... Ito po, ay, hindi naman yung Skyway Stage 3, it's going to be one of the networks, but we are working towards this particular goal. Um, Sorry ma'am, ang hindi ko kasi... Can you clarify? Um, oh. Yung five minutes, sige. Uh, how, how do we go about it na explain how can we achieve it by December po? Yung... Uh, yung, yung Skyway Stage 3 po, we are working on it. So ngayon po, yung Paco, yung, for example, from Makati to Manila, we've already reduced the travel time to about 5 to 10 minutes. So konti na lang po yung difference papunta pong Quezon City. So, um, so at present po, with those roads open, um, ilang minutes po yung travel time natin from Cubao to Makati? Uh, again, again, uh, I'm, I'm only talking po mula Makati hanggang Manila. Um, yung next po natin na bubuksan, uh, I do not Makati want... Makati itong Manila na po. Akala hmm. ko po Quezon City. Ay, yes, yun yung, yun yung target natin by December. Yun yung target natin by December, but now we have uh, Makati all the way to Manila open. Dumadaan sa uh, Skyway Stage 3 ang motorista from... Makati through Manila to Quezon City kasi. And then yung travel time po with that current uh, scheme at present is how many minutes po? Ngayon po, nasa 5 to 10 minutes when we tested. Uh, from Makati to Manila and then to Quezon City? No, no, no. Ano pa lang po? Uh, again po, hindi pa po open yung, uh, lanes. yung lanes. Uh, yung inopen po natin is only up until Plaza Dilaw, which is in Paco, Manila po. Apo. And then from yun nga po, until Plaza Dilaw, ilang minutes po yung current travel time? F from uh, Buendia? Apo. From Buendia is 5 to 10 minutes. 5 to 10 minutes po. Okay. And then yours, um, kaya natin by this, how, uh, can you give us a percentage na lang po? Uh, like, gaano kaya natin ma-achieve yung 5-minute travel time by December? We have... From we have, Makati to Quezon City. We have opened three out of eight ramps of Skyway Stage 3. Uh, ito po yung Buendia, yung Quirino, and yung Plaza de Lao in Manila. We expect to open yung five other ramps or access points, which is Nagtahan, Erod, Quezon Avenue, Sergeant Rivera, and, and Lex. So, um, you expect to open those this year? Uh, full completion by next year, but the main thoroughfare will be 95% completed by this, this year. year. So, um, ninety-five. The question is, sorry, uh, Joseph, ninety-five percent functioning. Um, ninety-five percent is not possible, right? Ninety-five percent may mau open pa po tayo. May ma-open ka May na ma-open po tayong several ramps. Again, um, please wait for the formal announcement, but we will be opening several more ramps this year. Clarification. Um, with regard to the five-minute challenge, it's from the president himself, no? And you are from the question and answer that we have. You can make this possible by offering alternative roads, correct? Yes, yes. Sir. And that will decongest EDSA, yes? Yes, sir. And um, you're saying that there's a master plan that's going to be announced soon, yes? Um, yes, sir. Yun po yung ayaw niyo munang sabihin because you don't want to preempt Secretary Villar. Yes. I, but these are, um, again, there's a, ma there's a major uh, master plan. We've already disclosed it. It's Metro Manila Logistics Network and it's Luzon Spine Expressway Network. We have secondary road networks. Pero as to the date of the openings of the particular projects, let us wait for the formal announcement. Paul. Um, can we then say that with regard to the five-minute challenge, there is a master plan for it? It is part of the... Or part of a bigger It project. is a part uh, of a bigger master plan. So, uh, hindi, hindi po siya centered on Cubao and Makati, but eventually we want to achieve this uh, um, goal. For the commuter, uh, commuters, no? speak to them. 
um, yung mga nahihirapan niyan sa EDSA by, say for example, you know, how many years, how many roads are going to be available and that will help uh, decongest EDSA. How many roads yung pwede yung i-build? You mentioned yung mga skyway, skyway, mga five more access points. Para lang medyo mag-visualize namin kung saan pwedeng i-disperse. If it's going to be parang, kumbaga sa, sa blood network to, may clog ka, where are you going to disperse the other vehicles? Just to illustrate your projects. Um, again po, um, we've, we've already accomplished nationwide 9,845 kilometer of roads. We will send you a segregated data uh, per region po. If that is okay. Metro Manila. For Metro Manila, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Pia. Look, ma'am, clarify lang yung five minute na travel time achievable uh, on rush hour or baka madaling araw lang. Siguro, ano na ako, no further comment on the five minute <laughs> challenge. <laughs> I hope you understand. But uh, uh, we are working towards this goal and we, we can assure you that there will be more information available on this uh, challenge uh, soon. I just want, wanted to clarify lang kasi baka yung five minutes, it's, uh, susabihin nila na it's possible, pero Sunday not on, oh, parang ganyan, Sunday 2 a.m. Um, again, uh, no further comments for the five-minute challenge. Thank you. <laughs> Salamat, Pia, MPC. Any more questions? Ah, Padet. Ma'am, shift lang po ng konti. Yung... May we know the updates po dun sa Chinese finance projects po? Kung ano pong status po, like especially the Kaliwa Dam project po since mag-visit po si President this month sa China po. Uh, it's not, uh, it's part of the NH, NHA? No? No, NIA. NIA, NIA, sorry. Uh, ah, no, sorry. It's the Chico River, that uh, pump irrigation project that is NIA. And uh, I believe the Kaliwa Dam is uh, MWSS. The DPWH has uh, no China loans. We have two China-funded projects, but they are grants at no expense to government. It's Binondo Intramuros Bridge and the Pantaleon Estrella Bridge. So no updates po dun tayo sa Kaliwa Dam, ma'am? Uh, ah, wala po. Uh, okay. okay po. Wala po sa DPWH. Wala po siya sa portfolio namin po. Pero sa Kaliwa Dam, siguro sa MWSS oh, okay, po. Okay, okay. Um, sir Tony po, may question lang po. Um, since uh, mag-visit po si President sa China this month po, are we expecting more loans po from China po na secure during the visit po? Um, titanong po natin sa ating international finance group, pero ang uh, official announcements regarding these matters are usually uh, provided through Malacanang po, during presidential visits. Thank you, sir. Thank you, but uh, MPC, more question? Okay. Maraming salamat, uh, Chairperson of the uh, Build, Build, Build Committee of the uh, DPWH, uh, Chairperson Ma'am Anime Lamentilio, and Assistant Secretary Tony Lampino. Maraming salamat, MPC. Balik tayo sa Radio Pilipinas at PTV4.